Well, welcome back from your pilgrimage to the Holy Land, David. Thank you, Stuart. I'm finally starting to feel just a little better, although I woke up this morning at three o'clock. <laughs> jet lag and uh, the challenges of travel, but it was a good uh, trip? Yes, it was very good. This is my was my second trip to Israel, and I have to say I came back just as confused as I was after the first mm -hmm. one in terms of the Palestinian-Israeli uh, situation. Right. It's a, a conflict that continues for thousands of years, and, and one you're going to help us understand even a little bit more on Sunday? I hope so, yes. We're going to be looking at some maps of Israel from both biblical times and modern times and try to understand how Israel is divided up into three different areas administered by Israelis and Palestinians. Right. It's a, a complicated situation. Um, you missed a, a, a time in our country of inauguration and certainly complication and uh, some conflict. And so uh, what was it like from abroad? Oh, people were very, very interested in talking about the situation. Yeah and wondering what it meant for them. Right, and I think that's where a lot of us are right now is wondering what it means for us. I know many of you in our congregation have uh, been paying lots of attention. Some wondering how you're gonna raise your children in these days. Some of you marched, some of you watched, and um, they're all certainly issues close to our heart because we love our country so much. Um, I'm feeling especially uh, energized by the leadership of our Episcopal Church and of the Lutheran Church. Um, a member of the Episcopal Church because of its embrace of all people and certainly of those who differ from me in opinion and also those who come from different countries and we certainly have many of those in our own congregation. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, I too feel the same way. Uh, one of the institutions in uh, Israel is the German Hospital which traditionally has had a ministry to Palestinians. Mm. Smack dab right in the middle of Jerusalem yeah. and uh, has been uh, subject of uh, considerable controversy over the many years, but I think it points out the reality that uh, we live with people who are different than us, and as religious people, how are we called to deal with them and show them that we, in fact, are Christians? Right, and I, I think that's where we're called to be as the church right now, is smack dab in the middle of it, and uh, welcoming all. We certainly have people who have found refuge in this country from Rwanda, from Liberia, from other countries, I think eight at least, uh -huh. and uh, both our denominations have amazing ministries to those who are resettling from countries where they are fleeing oppression and violence, and um, I believe we should continue to stand with them and open our doors to all who are looking to be fed. And so that's what we do here, and what better place to raise your children than in a diverse congregation that doesn't always agree, but always breaks bread together, and uh, always treats one another with love and respect. And so that's what we're going to do, I think. Yes, I think so. I think we're committed to uh, Jesus' great command that we are to love one another as if we are dealing with God himself. That's right, and love our neighbor as ourself. And so um, that's the way we boil it down here. We hope you will come and help our neighbors. Uh, we're looking forward to Super Bowl Sunday. Go Falcons. We're going to have soup. We want you to bring soup for our neighbors and also bring soup to eat after the service. That's also annual meeting Sunday. Read more about that in our email. And uh, look forward to Mardi Gras. We're going to throw a big bash the Saturday before Mardi Gras as a fundraiser, so pay attention for details about that too. Good. Welcome back and welcome. Come continue to be a part of our vibrant community. God bless. Thank you.